even though it's just a library book, it's embarrassing enough. I just take care of it. I wouldn't want to be in jail for a library books. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think many people would. A woman in Missouri arrested and fingerprinted the crime, not returning books and a DVD back to her local library. Well, technically, that is the charge. 36 year old Jessica Farlow checked out three books and that DVD back in June. Despite months of phone calls and mail from both the library and the police, the items never showed back up. Farlow failed to appear also in court on that summons in November and then again in January. There was no manhunt, but she was arrested over the weekend. The warrant for her arrest came after those failures, not the overdue library materials. The overdue materials, though, have totaled $64 in fines, but now Farlow faces criminal penalties of up to a $500 fine and up to three months in jail. We can try to contact folks for months, phone calls, letters, uh, you know, we will pass it off to the police and they'll they'll make attempts and typically that they come it comes back when the police make contact. So um, but even yeah, we'll always work with folks no matter what their circumstances. I think that might have been overstepping, but probably not. Maybe she won't ever do it again. Rules are rules and if uh, you break them, there's consequences. So even though it's just a library book, it's embarrassing enough. I just take care of it. Farlow was released the same day that she was arrested, but she has yet to return the items to the library. A new court date has been set for next month. Here to talk more about this really bizarre case is Queen City News Chief Legal Analyst Khalif Rhodes. So this is really the ultimate late fee. Should things have really gone this far? The first read is like, okay, blockbuster. I remember tons of late fees. Then I went to the further extreme, like those cases out of California when they had the three strikes and you're out rule where it was like people were doing life in prison for stealing a Snickers bar. But this one wasn't really what it seemed. This individual had received a number of notices to return the late books. She didn't respond a number of times to return turn to late books and then at some point law enforcement gets involved and they get a court date and then they don't appear at the court date and so then you get an order for arrest and so even though it was ultimately originally for the law the library it was really for missing court i mean regardless of what the underlining offense is the court is very very specific on making sure you are where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there and so they will call your name out in most courtrooms and they'll say hey we are calling for such and such to be here now and if you don't appear, the judge will write an order for your arrest. It's a real old, old way fashioned way of doing it, but that's what's done. Long story short, if you're called to court, you should show up or you have to tell them in advance that there's a reason that you can't show up and then that gets rescheduled. Most of the time, the courts, I won't say could care less if there is a reason, uh, but it's oftentimes good to get an attorney so an attorney could appear on your behalf. And that's not a pitch for an attorney's, but the courts really won't reschedule your court dates even for an emergency. They'll want you to be there and say, hey, I have this going on and to present yourself there. And so typically you'll either get a failure to appear and that failure to appear will sometimes turn into an order for arrest. In this case, I mean, $64 has now turned into almost $5,000 fine for her. And I looked at their stat you. It says after 10 days, they could call law enforcement. The library said they waited months and weeks to contact them. And then law enforcement waited weeks to actually take out the charges. So this person didn't want to give back the books. And if you think about it, this story said they're still holding the books. Yikes. Okay, so that <laughs> brings up a question for a lot of us. If we maybe have a book that we forgot about, or we have those blockbuster videos from 20 years ago, you know, <laughs> hiding with the dust bunnies under our bed, could we be arrested for that? If you had a court order out there saying that you needed to appear and you failed to appear, 100%. My question is, did she read the books? That's the, the bigger question there. I hope she read them. I hope she enjoyed them. But that's, uh, again, just a lesson that if you are called to court, you should probably appear. Colleague, thank you.